Excuse me, sir. Could you please help? Uh, hey, what's wrong with you? Hello there. I'm selling this toy so I could buy some food more for my kid. Could you please help me out? I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I was wondering if you could help by buying this toy because my kid's hungry. <laughs> it's really cute, but I don't have anything on me right now. I, this is all I have. Uh, I have. Um, let me. Let me see. I have some cookies and, and, and a little juice box. Yeah, I'd love that so I could help him out. Here, thank you very much. No, 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 this is way crazier. Don't worry about it. Look, around the corner, there's a small park. Maybe you can sell it there. Oh, thank you. Listen, do you have a problem if I sit here? Um, no, no, go for it. Um, is this your baby? No, no, it's my sister's, but, um, I look after him. Oh. But my mom's coming, and she's gonna help me with him. Also, um, around the corner there's a market, and we have some fruit there. Maybe we can give you something. We have, we have a stand there. It's a fruit place, and we can give you something healthier. Oh, yeah, I would love that, because I need some food for him. Sure. Is it a family business? Yeah, it's my parents and my sisters and I. And how is it going for you guys? It's okay. It's, it's sometimes good, sometimes not so good, but... You know, the, the get going gets tough, but... You know, sometimes it gets harder, like this moment right now, but we're gonna be okay. I see. Yeah, things get rough every once in a while. Can I ask you something? Tell me here. Yeah. Sure. Why did you say I help me? What do you mean? It's normal. Like, that's what I was taught, you know, to... You know, you help out every time you can. And my nephew and I ate already, so... If it, this is any good for you, there you go. I really want to thank you because... I've been asking for food for a while and no one was helping me, so thank you very much. No, don't worry about it. Sorry for asking, but telling me that we're having some trouble yeah look I don't have a lot to give but if I can help in any way I would like to mm, thank you so much for this um yeah I mean I think I do need help but I hope it's not anything too difficult but I, th I think all I need is a miracle um, what happened if you don't mind sharing no, it is. Something serious, it is. Um, well, like I was telling you before, my family business. Well, I go there in the mornings, I open it. And I go to school at night. And I asked my, I asked my sister for help to open today. Because I wanted to study. I have a huge test coming up. And, and, and I have a scholarship to keep. You know, and I have it, and I, I couldn't lost it. And I asked her for help with my brother-in-law, and she said, yes, yes, we're gonna do it. It's so nice of her. Yeah, I guess, yeah. I mean, we're very close, we help each other out all the time. And my parents are already older, so it's basically just my sister and I. My parents are sick, and those are you. So it's a lot of money that we need to, we can really close. Oh my. I'm glad that you're helping each other. And, you know, um, we do everything very pretty much. Like, she delivers sometimes. I do the, the working. But then I would also study and my sister would tell me to keep going, you know, because I, I think I'm gonna be the only one with a, with a degree. I see. See, it's so, I'm so glad that you all help each other. Sorry if I interrupted you, right? Uh, you were telling me about your sister. Um, that day, when I, that day in the morning, I left. I left around 5 a.m. in the motorcycle we used for delivery. <laughs> and they crashed into a truck. <laughs> what are you talking about? What happened? That day, 
she, she went to open and she was with her, with her husband on the motorcycle and a black truck didn't stop it in a red light it was like 5 a.m. and they called us home and I picked up and I told my mom and she got very ill because of what I told you before my dad got also more sick and we had the baby there That's so bad and we had to leave him and I went outside and I came to this taxi station to go where my sister was and he saw me like like how I was and he just told me jump in I'm gonna take you and it's terrible I'm glad he helped yeah that's why I helped you too because you know I know what it's like to need something and how long did you take to get to the hospital <laughs> Well, go figure. In the taxi, I, I I spent 45 minutes in the taxi. Go figure if I t if I had taken the bus. And I got there and I asked about her until a nurse comes out and she says like this person's family members and I was like I'm here and she tells me that they operated her. She had severe injuries on her leg and she was in surgery and and then I asked about him and you know what about my brother in law. She told me everything with her face. <laughs> she told me that he wasn't with us anymore. <laughs> The ambulance came, but it was too late. I'm really sorry. That's terrible. I, I imagine that you've been through a lot lately. Yeah, no, don't, don't, you don't know what's like. And my sister, it's like, you know, everything just came together. You know, to tell them. I can see that God is giving you these tests. Trust me, you're going to be strong for your nephew, for your mom, and time will tell. Thank you. The good thing is that we stick together. But it just saddens me because of my name, nephew. He's so little and he doesn't really know. And sometimes I feel guilty, you know. I don't think you should feel any guilt. You know, it's just something that happened no really i think it was my fault because that's the day where i had to go and open and if i had done it like i always do it maybe this wouldn't have happened and you know people say things like no it was an accident accidents happen but i but i do feel so guilty you need to make it for you for your nephew for your sister for your family because they need you Thank you very much. I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry about this. But um No, don't worry. But sometimes it's just it's just too much. You know, every day I wake up and I think about what we're gonna do next. Because there's just a lot going on. You know, my sister's therapy, because of her leg, she needs therapy. She needs rehab for it and all kinds of labs and everything and we have so much to pay you know the insurance didn't cover for everything it did pay for some things but it didn't pay for everything and um she needs a wheelchair and i don't really know where we're gonna get it because that doesn't cover that is not covered by the insurance oh my i'm really sorry for everything you're going through let me tell you something do you remember the box that i was trying to sell Yes. I would like you to keep it because there's something special in it for you. No, thank you. Really, you can go sell it somewhere else. I'm sure there are a lot of 
children. Oh. I would like to confess something. I really don't need the money. Okay. The truth is that I'm running a social experiment to find kind people. And no one was helping me. You are the first person that decided that helped me today. So, in exchange, I would like for you to keep this. Please open it. It's yours. No, really. I can't. No, I can't have this. <laughs> I'm still crying. Yeah, yeah, of course. At least a little help. It's a surprise, so if you could open it. Yeah, well, my nephew's gonna love this. <laughs> Look, baby. No, but there's something more in it. So much. There's stuff in there for you. Could you please open it? What does it say? Yeah, sure. Um, it reads. Thank you so much for helping me. There aren't many people like you anymore. Life always turns around and everything can change in a minute. All good intentions are rewarded and now it's my turn to help you. Well. As I'm telling you, this is a social experiment and after everything you've been through, I think it's my turn to help you because you were helping me. Please keep looking inside of that box. There, are, There's more in there for you. Is this real? Yes, it's for you. Well, no, no, well, this is a lot. No, well social experiment and these actions should be rewarded pretty much because of all of these situations they have to be rewarded you know <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much you're an angel you're really an angel really god heard my prayers i can't believe this because i am I pray to God for this, you know. I pray to God. I pray to God for a miracle, for some help, and you're here. Look, I would like to keep helping you if it's possible. I would like to m meet you here tomorrow because I want to help you even further. This is way too much. Like I, I don't even know how I'm gonna pay you back. No, you don't have to. Quite the opposite. I would like to help you. If you allow me, but it would have to be tomorrow. Do you need a ride home or something? No, no. My mom's coming. We're very close from here. Hey, can I hug you? Yes, of course. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Yes. Hello, baby. Hello there. How are you? Look, this is the surprise that I wanted to give you. How are you? Is it for my sister? Yes, it's for your sister. This is what I wanted to give you. No, no. thank you so much. Thank you, you're truly an angel. Thank you so much. You don't have to thank me. Look, um, I know it's not a lot, but my mom sent you this rosary. She's, she's... A woman of faith, God has always helped us and she's always praying with this one, so... Can I put this on you? Is it for me? Yeah, of course. Thank you. It's so pretty. Can I hug you again? Yes, yes, of course. Thank you so much. 